Hello, this is Tim here. I want to show you something I've been working on uh, for quite some time. This is a, this is a low cost mechatronics trainer. Um, we teach mechatronics here at AACC and um, one of the issues that we found is, is uh, high schools and other colleges have a very hard time um, teaching mechatronics because the equipment is so expensive. Uh, the approximate cost of um, what you're seeing here is about $1,500. Um, it was a grant we received from the National Science Foundation and uh, all of the plans, uh, SolarWorks plans, wiring diagrams are uploaded on a website and anyone can build this trainer. So let me just show you running it running for a second um, and then I'll kind of explain what it's all about. We wanted to, the trainer, first of all, to actually do something useful. A lot of the mechatronics trainers that we see, um, they're very, very flashy, but they actually don't seem to do a whole lot. So this is a gravity feed. Um, this a pucks come out. We, we're going to have this stack with pucks. Here we've got different colors of pucks, which get different amounts of candy. A, a nice electro pneumatic system there. So I'll turn this on again. It's been run from a $50 air compressor there I got from Home Depot. So this is the, the entire system. So we have all the modules that you would have in the whole trainer. Um, but each of these stations uh, can be used separately. So this is a, basically a PLC station and we have push buttons and a light tower um, pretty soon we're going to be able to swap this out and have an HMI, a human machine interface so students would learn about wiring and um, PLC wiring on this one um, this is a simple um, electro pneumatic system here that, that uh, you have different pucks here that are gravity fed and it basically just pushes them out and we have reed sensors and things this is a, a hopper, an auger type system that's, that's full, should be full of um, uh, skittles. I only bought two bags, so um, it's not quite full. There we go. And it has a nice belt system. It's been driven from uh, a simple DC gear motor. It has a belt system and some shafts and things and a relay. And then we call this the sorting station. And ba based on whatever inputs we get, from our optical sensors that determines whether the puck is white or whether it's black and then we have a timer a plc timer that controls this and basically this is another electro pneumatic so we have our direction control valve and so on each one of these modules can be unscrewed and it can be separate and it could be just wired with the plc so these black plates were laser cut and they can be quickly unscrewed and they can work as a standalone unit uh, the other thing we have is this is a linear actuator, it's a screw, what is it called a linear actuator? Um, it's, base, it's made from open builds and um, it's controlled by an automation direct a stepper motor driver. That takes serial commands that are, that are provided by the click PLC and uh, it's really simple, it just output, we give it different serial commands and it will basically jog in one direction or jog in another direction. We're using inductive proximity sensors to determine the position of the, the linear actuator. And we just have a little screw there that's turning that stuff on. You know, so this is, um, this is, the, this is the introductory video. Um, I'm gonna go into more detail on how to build each of these stations. And uh, in, the, in the comments section or in the, in the, in the description section of the video, we, we will have the, um, the, the, the link to the website that provides the bill of materials and the uh, SolarWorks drawings.